wanted to address today how you can get a lot more stability in the bottom of your push-up position. I've been talking a lot lately about externally rotating the arms when you're in the push-up position, rotating your biceps forward, keeping the elbows in close, but what does that actually feel like in the push-up? Um, one of the things that I notice a lot of people doing in the push-up is they have their elbows out to the sides and their heads tucked in and they feel really restricted. It's like you can't really push down because you can't. You have no stability down here because you're not winding up the arms as well as you should be. So I'm gonna give you guys a few drills that you can use before you do any kind of workout that involves a lot of pushing, maybe even a lot of handstands to work on thinking what it's like to have the arms driving towards each other and working on that external rotation. There's a lot of muscles back here, your external rotator muscles that actually help to keep you in a really good stable position in the push-up and I don't think a lot of you guys actually know that there's things back here that are supposed to help you. It's, we think push-ups are all about like the chest and what's in front but really the, if you take into account like the whole shoulder, the whole shoulder is what helps keep us stable. So for this um, you'll need a couple of props. I'm going to show you guys with some yoga blocks but if you have a shoe box or anything that's about uh, just a little bit less than a foot wide that's pretty stable. I think a tissue box would also work well. You are going to be pressing against it so it should be something that's not going to crumble beneath you. So a, a good sturdy shoe box or two um, if you can get two that are about the same size should help. So the first exercise that we're going to do is um, we're just going to start on hands and knees. And I want you to come down to your forearms. And you're gonna place your objects, one of them right between your hands and the other one right between your elbows. And what I'd like you to do is place even pressure through your hands and through your elbows. So right now, I'm kind of digging my forearms and my hands towards each other and holding these objects in place. And while I'm doing this, so it, um, you can hold this for a little bit, but now I'm going to do some cat cows, or basically um, really exaggerated uh, shoulder scat push-ups. So I'm going to squeeze the shoulder blades, lower the chest through, and then widen the shoulder blades around the upper back. And you want to keep this movement just to the shoulders. You don't want to put your lower back into it, but just thinking about upper back only. So uh, exhale as you round the shoulders out. And then inhale as you come down. And do this about 10 times. And rem remembering to basically keep that pressure between your hands and your elbows as you're coming down and out. It's really easy to kind of forget that, but that's what's gonna help to activate a lot of these muscles back here and to help develop that strength in uh, your arms. So you're now you're gonna start to feel like the arms are digging towards each other. And that's the same feeling that you should have in the bottom of the push up. So do about 10 cat cows in this manner, working on the upper shoulders and chest. And the next thing I wanna show you guys is a little bit more advanced, but I'll show you a couple ways to do it. So you're gonna start again down on your forearms. Now you're gonna place your palms on the ground and you don't want them too wide. You actually wanna place them about the same distance away and you'll see why here in a minute. So first you can just start on your knees and basically what you're gonna do is press down through your hands, raise your elbows off the ground and then right back down. And in order to obviously raise your uh, elbows off the ground, you have to be holding this object and squeezing it between your forearms. Okay, so if you're able to do this pretty easily, my challenge to you guys who have a lot of push-up is to actually come up on a pike position or basically a kind of almost like a downward dog position, lower down to dolphin pose, and then right back up. And again, to, in order to do this, you really have to squeeze through your forearms. And you're going to really start to feel your arms working, especially a lot of the upper back in order to be able to hold that and squeeze that. So this is again a really good drill that you can use to help develop what that squeezing or that torque is supposed to feel like in the bottom of the push-up. And then when you translate that to the actual push-up, you want to feel like your forearms again are digging towards each other as you lower down and come right back up. The third drill I want to show you guys is uh, you'll need some kind of a towel. I have a sweatshirt here. Just something that you can squeeze. Um, and what I'm going to do is squeeze it right between my elbow and my side. So in the push-up, I talk a lot about how you have to keep your elbows in, okay, instead of out. Because if I were to take my elbows out, whoops, there goes the uh, sweatshirt, okay? So you're going to keep your elbow in. And what I'd like you to practice, 
And this is actually pretty easy. If you want to hold like a water bottle or even take a two pound weight, you're going to open your hand up to the side and then close it back in. And this is a really good drill that you can do to also help to activate those muscles in the back as well. Um, like right now I'm feeling a lot in kind of my upper back and my lats to be able to hold this in. If you're holding some kind of object or a light weight, um, this would also help to activate that as well. So do these about 15 times on each side. And again, you have to keep that elbow squeezed in because otherwise it's going to drop. And keeping that same motion, so elbows in, you can actually start attacking the push-up in the same way. So squeezing the elbows in, pretending I'm squeezing that towel, place my hands on the ground. Okay, so notice how I have a really good solid position right away. Come up into that planker on the knees and then start lowering into the push-up and then right back up. Keeping that same squeezing motion, so imagine I'm squeezing that towel in between my elbows and then coming back up. So now that when you start to attack the push-up, you can think of the, these few things that we've went over. So imagining a block between your hands. So when you dig your hands in the ground, imagine there's a block that's in between your hands that you're pressing towards each other. A block in between your elbows that are pressing in towards each other. So instead of being out here, pressing in. And then as you come down into that push-up, so making sure your first of all your hand is right under your shoulders a lot of people for some reason push up like way out here not sure why that happens so hands under the shoulders and then squeezing that towel with the elbow in on the way down chest comes first and on the way back up so hopefully you can take uh, try on a couple of these things if you can sneak into the yoga room grab a block or again if you have just some random object that's about this size that you can squeeze in between a shoe box sanitizer thing, whatever it is, um, hopefully you can grab that and uh, use these in helping to develop that external rotation and developing a lot more torque and stability in your push-up.